Bayesian inference of phylogeny uses a likelihood function to create a quantity called the posterior probability of trees using a model of evolution, based on some prior probabilities, producing the most likely phylogenetic tree for the given data. The Bayesian approach has become popular due to advances in computing speeds and the integration of Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC, algorithms. Bayesian inference has a number of applications in molecular phylogenetics and systematics. Bayesian inference of phylogeny background and basis Bayesian inference refers to a probabilistic method developed by Reverend Thomas Bayes based on Bayes' theorem. Published posthumously in 1763 it was the first expression of inverse probability and the basis of Bayesian inference. Independently, unaware of Bayes' work, Pierre Simon Laplace developed Bayes' theorem in 1774. Bayesian inference was widely used until 1900s when there was a shift to frequentist inference, mainly due to computational limitations. Based on Bayes' theorem, the Bayesian approach combines the prior probability of a tree P a, with the likelihood of the data B, to produce a posterior probability distribution on trees P a, B. The posterior probability of a tree will indicate the probability of the tree to be correct, being the tree with the highest posterior probability the one chosen to represent best of phylogeny. It was the introduction of Markov chain Monte Carlo MCMC, methods by Nicholas Metropolis in 1953 that revolutionized Bayesian inference and by the 1990s became a widely used method amongst phylogeneticists. Some of the advantages over traditional maximum parsimony and maximum likelihood methods are the possibility of account for the phylogenetic uncertainty, use of prior information and incorporation of complex models of evolution that limited computational analyses for traditional methods. Although overcoming complex analytical operations the posterior probability still involves a summation over all trees and, for each tree, integration over all possible combinations of substitution model parameter values and branch lengths. MCMC methods can be described in three steps, first using a stochastic mechanism a new state for the Markov chain is proposed. Secondly, the probability of this new state to be correct is calculated. Thirdly, a new random variable, 0, 1, is proposed. If this new value is less than the acceptance probability the new state is accepted and the state of the chain is updated. This process is run for either thousands or millions of times. The amount of time a single tree is visited during the course of the chain is just a valid approximation of its posterior probability. Some of the most common algorithms used in MCMC methods include the Metropolis-Hastings algorithms, the Metropolis coupling MCMC MC cubed, and the local algorithm of Largett and Simon. Metropolis-Hastings algorithm One of the most common MCMC methods used is the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm, a modified version of the original Metropolis algorithm. It is a widely used method to sample randomly from complicated and multi-dimensional distribution probabilities. The Metropolis algorithm is described in the following steps, an initial tree, T, is randomly selected A neighbor tree, Tj, is selected from the collection of trees. The ratio, R, of the probabilities, or probability density functions, of Tj and T is computed as follows, R equals F Tj, F T, if R1, Tj is accepted as the current tree if R at this point the process is repeated from step 2 n times, the algorithm keeps running until it reaches an equilibrium distribution. It also assumes that the probability of proposing a new tree Tj when we are at the old tree state T, is the same probability of proposing T when we are at Tj. When this is not the case Hastings corrections are applied. The aim of Metropolis-Hastings algorithm is to produce a collection of states with a determined distribution until the Markov process reaches a stationary distribution. The algorithm has two components. A potential transition from one state to another, ij, using a transition probability function chi, j, movement of the chain to state j with probability alpha i, j and remains in i with probability 1 alpha i, j. Metropolis coupled MCMC Metropolis coupled MCMC algorithm MC cubed, has been proposed to solve a practical concern of the Markov chain moving across peaks when the target distribution has multiple local peaks, separated by low valleys, are known to exist in the tree space. 
This is the case during heuristic tree search under maximum parsimony MP, maximum likelihood ML, and minimum evolution meet criteria, and the same can be expected for stochastic tree search using MCMC. This problem will result in samples not approximating correctly to the posterior density. The MC cubed improves the mixing of Markov chains in presence of multiple local peaks in the posterior density. It runs multiple M chains in parallel, each for N iterations and with different stationary distributions. Pi J Display style pi underscore J J equals one two M Display style J equals 1, 2, L dots, M. Where the first one Pi 1 equals Pi. Display style pi underscore 1 equals pi is the target density, while Pi J Display style pi underscore j j equals two three m display style j equals two three l dots m are chosen to improve mixing. For example, one can choose incremental heating of the form pi j theta equals pi theta 1 1 plus lambda j minus 1 lambda greater than 0 display style pi underscore j theta equals pi theta caret 1 1 plus lambda j 1 lambda greater than 0 so that the first chain is the cold chain with the correct target density while chains 2 3 m Display style 2, 3, L dots, M are heated chains. Note that raising the density pi display style pi to the power 1 T display style 1 T with T greater than 1 display style t greater than 1 has the effect of flattening out the distribution similar to heating a metal in such a distribution it is easier to traverse between peaks separated by valleys than in the original distribution after each iteration a swap of states between two randomly chosen chains is proposed through a metropolis type step let Theta J display style theta caret J be the current state in chain J display style J J equals one two M Display style j equals 1, 2, L dots, M. A swap between the states of chains I Display style I and J Display style J is accepted with probability alpha equals Pi 
I theta J Pi J theta I Pi I theta I Pi J theta J Display style alpha equals FRAC, pi underscore, I theta carrot, J, pi underscore, J, theta carrot, I pi underscore, I theta carrot, I pi underscore, J, theta carrot, J. At the end of the run, output from only the cold chain is used, while those from the hot chains are discarded. Heuristically, the hot chains will visit the local peaks rather easily, and swapping states between chains will let the cold chain occasionally jump valleys, leading to better mixing. However, if pi i theta pi j theta display style pi underscore i theta pi underscore j theta is unstable, proposed swaps will seldom be accepted. This is the reason for using several chains which differ only incrementally. An obvious disadvantage of the algorithm is that m display style m chains are run and only one chain is used for inference. For this reason m c 3 Display style mathrm mc caret three is ideally suited for implementation on parallel machines, since each chain will, in general, require the same amount of computation per iteration. Local algorithm of Largit and Simon. The local algorithms offers a computational advantage over previous methods and demonstrates that a Bayesian approach is able to assess uncertainty computationally practical in larger trees. The local algorithm is an improvement of the global algorithm presented in Mao, Newton and Largett, 1999, in which all branch lengths are changed in every cycle. The local algorithms modifies the tree by selecting an internal branch of the tree at random. The nodes at the ends of this branch are each connected to two other branches. One of each pair is chosen at random. Imagine taking these three selected edges and stringing them like a clothesline from left to right, where the direction left, right, is also selected at random. The two endpoints of the first branch selected will have a sub-tree hanging like a piece of clothing strung to the line. The algorithm proceeds by multiplying the three selected branches by a common random amount, akin to stretching or shrinking the clothesline. Finally the leftmost of the two hanging sub-trees is disconnected and reattached to the clothesline at a location selected uniformly at random. This would be the candidate tree. Suppose we began by selecting the internal branch with length t 8 display style t underscore 8 that separates taxa Display style A and B. Display style B from the rest. Suppose also that we have randomly selected branches with lengths T one. Display style T underscore one and T. 9 display style t underscore 9 from each side and that we oriented these branches let m equals t 1 plus t 8 plus T nine 
display style m equals t underscore 1 plus t underscore 8 plus t underscore 9 be the current length of the clothesline. We select the new length to be m equals m exp lambda u 1 minus 0 0.5 Display style m caret star equals m exp lambda u underscore one minus zero point five, where u one display style u underscore one is a uniform random variable on zero one. Display style 0, 1. Then for the local algorithm, the acceptance probability can be computed to be H Y H X times M three M three Display style FRAC H Y H X times FRAC M carrot star carrot three M carrot three. Assessing convergence. To estimate a branch length T Display style T of a two taxon tree under J C in which N one Display style n underscore one sites are unvaried and n two display style n underscore two are variable. Assume exponential prior distribution with rate lambda display style lambda. The density is p t equals lambda e minus lambda t display style p t equals lambda e caret lambda t the probabilities of the possible site patterns are one four one four plus three four E minus four three T Display style one quarter left one quarter plus three quarters e carat minus four thirds t right for unvaried sites and one four one four minus one four e minus 4 3 t display style 1 quarter left 1 quarter to 1 quarter e caret minus 4 thirds t right thus the unnormalized posterior distribution is h t equals 1 Four N one plus N two one four plus three four 
E minus four three T N one Display style H T equals left one quarter right carrot N underscore one plus N underscore two left one quarter plus three quarters E carrot minus four thirds T carrot N underscore one right or alternately H T equals one four minus one four E minus four three T N two Lambda E minus Lambda T Display style H T equals left one quarter to one quarter E carrot minus four thirds T carrot N underscore two right Lambda E carrot Lambda T Update branch length by choosing new value uniformly at random from a window of half width W Display style W Centered at the current value T equals T plus U Display style T caret star equals T plus U where U Display style U is uniformly distributed between minus W display style W and W display style W the acceptance probability is H T H T display style H T caret star H T example n one equals seventy display style n underscore one equals seventy n Two equals thirty. Display style n underscore two equals thirty. We will compare results for two values of W. Display style W. W equals zero point one. Display style W equals zero point one and W equals zero point five. Display style W equals zero point five. In each case, we will begin with an initial length of five. Display style five. And update the length. Two thousand. Display style two thousand. Times. Maximum parsimony and maximum likelihood. There are many approaches to reconstructing phylogenetic trees, each with advantages and disadvantages, and there is no straightforward answer to what is the best method. Maximum parsimony MP, and maximum likelihood ML, are traditional methods widely used for the estimation of phylogenies and both use character information directly, as Bayesian methods do. 
Maximum parsimony recovers one or more optimal trees based on a matrix of discrete characters for a certain group of taxa and it does not require a model of evolutionary change. MP gives the most simple explanation for a given set of data, reconstructing a phylogenetic tree that includes as few changes across the sequences as possible, this is the one that exhibits the smallest number of evolutionary steps to explain the relationship between taxa. The support of the tree branches is represented by bootstrap percentage. For the same reason that it has been widely used, its simplicity, MP has also received criticism and has been pushed into the background by ML and Bayesian methods. MP presents several problems and limitations. As shown by Felsenstein, 1978, MP might be statistically inconsistent, meaning that as more and more data e.g. sequence length is accumulated, results can converge on an incorrect tree and lead to long branch attraction, a phylogenetic phenomenon where taxa with long branches, numerous character state changes tend to appear more closely related in the phylogeny than they really are. As in maximum parsimony, maximum likelihood will evaluate alternative trees. However it considers the probability of each tree explaining the given data based on a model of evolution. In this case, the tree with the highest probability of explaining the data is chosen over the other ones. In other words, it compares how different trees predict the observed data. The introduction of a model of evolution in ML analyses presents an advantage over MP as the probability of nucleotide substitutions and rates of these substitutions are taken into account, explaining the phylogenetic relationships of taxa in a more realistic way. An important consideration of this method is the branch length, which parsimony ignores, with changes being more likely to happen along long branches than short ones. This approach might eliminate long branch attraction and explain the greater consistency of ML over MP. Although considered by many to be the best approach to inferring phylogenies from a theoretical point of view, ML is computationally intensive and it is almost impossible to explore all trees as there are too many. Bayesian inference also incorporates a model of evolution and the main advantages over MP and ML are that it is computationally more efficient than traditional methods, it quantifies and addresses the source of uncertainty and is able to incorporate complex models of evolution. Pitfalls and controversies Bootstrap values versus posterior probabilities it has been observed that bootstrap support values, calculated under parsimony or maximum likelihood, tend to be lower than the posterior probabilities obtained by Bayesian inference. This fact leads to a number of questions such as, do posterior probabilities lead to overconfidence in the results? Are bootstrap values more robust than posterior probabilities? Controversy of using prior probabilities. Using prior probabilities for Bayesian analysis has been seen by many as an advantage as it will provide a hypothesis a more realistic view of the real world. However some biologists argue about the subjectivity of Bayesian posterior probabilities after the incorporation of these priors. Model choice. The results of the Bayesian analysis of a phylogeny are directly correlated to the model of evolution chosen so it is important to choose a model that fits the observed data, otherwise inferences in the phylogeny will be erroneous. Many scientists have raised questions about the interpretation of Bayesian inference when the model is unknown or incorrect. For example, an oversimplified model might give higher posterior probabilities or simple evolutionary model or associated to less uncertainty than that from bootstrap values. MRBAYES Software MRBAYES is a free software that performs Bayesian inference of phylogeny. Originally written by John P. Hielsenbeck and Frederick Ronquist in 2001. As Bayesian methods increased in popularity MR Bayes became one of the software of choice for many molecular phylogeneticists. It is offered for Macintosh, Windows, and Unix operating systems and it has a command line interface. The program uses the standard MCMC algorithm as well as the Metropolis coupled MCMC variant. MR Bayes reads aligned matrices of sequences, DNA or amino acids, in the standard Nexus format. MR Bayes uses MCMC to approximate the posterior probabilities of trees. The user can change assumptions of the substitution model, priors, and the details of the MC cubed analysis. It also allows the user to remove and add taxa and characters to the analysis. 
The program uses the most standard model of DNA substitution, the 4x4 also called JC69, which assumes that changes across nucleotides occurs with equal probability. It also implements a number of 20 by 20 models of amino acid substitution, and codon models of DNA substitution. It offers different methods for relaxing the assumption of equal substitutions rates across nucleotide sites. MR Bayes is also able to infer ancestral states accommodating uncertainty to the phylogenetic tree and model parameters. MR Bayes III was a completely reorganized and restructured version of the original MR Bayes. The main novelty was the ability of the software to accommodate heterogeneity of data sets. This new framework allows the user to mix models and take advantages of the efficiency of Bayesian MCMC analysis when dealing with different type of data e.g. protein, nucleotide, and morphological. It uses the Metropolis coupling MCMC by default. MR Bayes 3.2 New version of MR Bayes was released in 2012. The new version allows the users to run multiple analyses in parallel. It also provides faster likelihood calculations and allow these calculations to be delegated to graphics processing unites GPUs. Version 3.2 provides wider outputs options compatible with Figtree and other tree viewers. List of phylogenetics software this table includes some of the most common phylogenetic software used for inferring phylogenies under a Bayesian framework. Some of them do not use exclusively Bayesian methods. Applications Bayesian inference has extensively been used by molecular phylogeneticists for a wide number of applications. Some of these include Inference of phylogenies Inference and evaluation of uncertainty of phylogenies. Inference of ancestral character state evolution. Inference of ancestral areas. Molecular dating analysis. Model dynamics of species diversification and extinction. Elucidate patterns in pathogens dispersal. References External links MR Bay's official website Beast official website